Oh, baby. I don't even need any words. Just, yeah, just that. That's all you need. That's all you need. Welcome to 60 Minutes to Lose on um, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Show where we play a game for an hour and see what we can see. Today's episode, it's right in front of your face, baby. It's DuckTales, developed and published by Capcom. I'm gonna play on easy because I'm a chump, and we're just gonna go for it. Land select. So that's right, you can in fact go wherever you want. We're just gonna start on the Amazon because it's the very first thing here. Okay, I've taken damage immediately. But that doesn't matter. It does matter. I haven't heard again. Can I respawn the ape? Oh, I can. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get up there, man. Yeah, there we go! So this is, uh, this is DuckTales. This is the entire concept of the game, is you bounce around on your cane and, uh, watch everything else die. Because Scrooge doesn't care about anybody else. Scrooge McDuck is a, uh, heinous individual. Okay, well, okay. We have found our match. We cannot defeat that. Now, do I go down or do I go right? I don't know, man. I, I kinda wanna go down. Worth. Can you imagine if I didn't go down? Did I push this? I don't think I can. Oh, I can! There we go. I don't know what I did to push it, but uh, I managed it, which means I get to go up here. Oh. It's. It's the secret eye, man. Dude, this, this episode is high pay. High, fast-paced action. Look at this. This ain't no, so, no sword of Sodan. We're going in hot. My commentary is all just me ogling and gawking. Just how you know everything is, uh, is golden. Perfect. Oh, I screwed up. Doesn't matter. This is easy mode. You get... You get extra health all over the place. So, I mean, what is there that I can say about DuckTales? It hasn't already been said. It's a beloved classic. The only people who don't like DuckTales are people who, uh, don't enjoy fun and don't enjoy good times. The game is so beloved that it has received modern remasters. Which I have not played, but <laughs> I, I haven't even played through the entire DuckTales itself, so, you know, I'm not in a place to uh, comment on the remaster one way or another here. It kind of uh, reminds me a lot of Castle of Illusion, in that you're always just kind of like doing a downward thrusting attack, except you're not using your butt here, you're using your cane. Taking some additional damage, but it's fine. Again, we're on easy. Yeah, just stop bouncing for a second there so you can get yourself into a good spot. Oh, baby. Pick me up, man. Yeah. Did you see that? That disrespect? The bee just nailing me while I was uh, hanging on? Oh my goodness, sends you all the way back to the beginning of the level. Makes sense. Actually, I don't know if this is the full beginning or not, but either way, now I'll go right. See if there's anything neat I missed. What do we got here? Oh, now it feels like Spelunky. If you've never played Spelunky, well, you need to change that, son. Is there anything underneath these rocks here? Will I uncover something? No. All I know is I want more money because I am Scrooge. That's my entire character arc is acquire money. And then once you have enough, dive into it. Like it's a bathtub. Don't fall into the pit though. Dodge him. Now this time. We don't want to get... That's fine. I'm... No, it's not fine.
I I tried to jump off it and it didn't jump and now I'm 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 dead again. That's okay. I'm sure it was my fault. So it's one of those games where like 100% of the danger comes from the uh, the bottomless pits that the game has on offer. Why even do that when I can just bounce off it this way? Yeah, there we go. Oh, did you see that thread of that needle? It's just a very playable game, you know? You can just go on autopilot and have a very good time with it. There's, there's just something that tickles the brain very well about going bouncy bouncy on your cane. That, that, that was rude. Alright, I don't want to see you all screwing this up again. That's good enough for me. <laughs> we gotta bounce right over these plants or else they're here. They're here to do me in. Oh, I see, I see. I was not quite hitting it with my cane. See? You don't bounce off unless your cane is actually hitting the platform. The more you know. There's no way this doesn't uncover something. Wow, oh, it didn't uncover something. Consider me surprised. Maybe that's just not a thing in this game. We can talk to our boy there, or we can... Oh, I should I talk to my boy? Spear, spear chuckers. Ah, very nice. Make them the the, uh, the safe spears, not actual uh, M-rated. Uh, they're gonna kill you, dead spears. Very very tactical there, Capcom. Oh my God! Okay, well I've now died from death. Look at that though. Checkpoint. You want to look back to Duckburg, Mr. D? Oh, no, probably not. Okay, don't ever speak to me again. I don't want to lift. Oh, we can't bounce off that giant coconut boulder thing. What a shame. So let it not be said that it's impossible to uh, get damaged. Oh, this is what I'm looking for here. The tiniest bit of slow down there. Too many flashing sprites on screen at a time. Pay 300,000 to pass through here. I don't even have that kind of money, man. Wow. So it. You have to grind a little. I didn't know that that was a thing. Hold on, check this out. Check this out. That's, that's, that's not gonna do it. I don't think this is possible. Oh, but it feels so close, right? Yo! <laughs> Are you Huey, Dewey, or Louie? Use your cane to defeat the treasure key. Okay. That's an extra life right there. Can I use my cane to defeat you, you brat? <laughs> what can I say? That hasn't already been said, man. It's, it's good old classic fun. You get stuff falling down on you like that? That's how you know the fun's begun. Oh, this this guy, this is baby's first boss right here. You die to this guy. Just give up. Nice, we got the scepter or something. I'm not sure if what I did back there was what you're supposed to do or not, where I launched off the guy and got up there without paying money. If that's not intended, I feel very clever. Mm -hmm. We've cleared the Amazon. Bring me to Transylvania, boys. Give me the zombie ducks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's nothing that way. Real Castlevania vibes here. If I do, 
Don't mind if I do. Help! Huey has been kidnapped. Save him, please. Mm, I don't see where that's my problem, though. Will it make me money? If not, I don't save him. If yes, I'll consider it. Let's just go up this direction here. Why not? Is that Huey? I don't know. My duck lore is... My duck lore isn't uh, spot on. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. Guess what? This house has an illusion wall. You're not gonna tell me where it is, though, are you? It's gonna be like, hey, Uncle. Eat it. That's not an illusion wall, but it's something. Look at that. Proper use of your, uh... Invincibility right there. Oh no! I've I've wo awoken the ghost. I love how everything's a duck. I mean, I get it. It is Ducktales, after all. It just keeps going. These are like decently sized levels too. We play so many games from this era where. Uh, What the mirror? There's so many games from this era where you, oh, you just get these little like micro levels. Not the case here. Okay, we have to duck. Oh no, we gotta jump. No, I didn't jump in time. Oh, I heard a very Mega Man sound there. That little. Makes sense. It is Capcom. Reuse your assets where you can, boys. Okay, gotta time this better. There we go. I don't trust us falling down. So we'll do a gentle crawl instead. Ow! Good thing I got some, uh, some health there. More health? Ah, an extra life? That's even better. I'll take that. You betcha. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Your eyes rattle when you try to hit it. And they- wow, they turn into treasure chests. I- I, at this point, I'm just, like, saying what I see, and know that I'm here for all of it. This is great stuff. I, I had heard of the wonders of DuckTales, but, you know, I never had uh, the full opportunity to sit down and play it like this. Oh, okay, I'm getting lost now. It's getting a little mazy. I'm getting just a little mazy. I was gonna say, I think I recognize this part. It's because I do, so hold on. Ride the minecarts back again, and I gotta, I gotta take it, <laughs> gotta take a different approach. Come on now. Done. Done. And then we fall. And then we fall here too. Ooh. What do we have here? The unknown. Where's Where's the illusory wall? That's- that ain't it. <laughs> that mirror brings us nowhere. Okay, good to know. Well, this is like the beginning of the level, isn't it? Right here. Yes. I've been here. Very mazy indeed. I'll just go right this time. Last time I went up this time, I just go right. So be it. So the ghost hits me. What am I gonna do? Get all upset about it? No, I don't give the ghost that kind of power. I'm, I'm the kind of person who's gonna post on my Facebook wall, I do not give Mark Zuckerberg consent to share my data. And then I'll say, ha, ladies and gentlemen, you got him. You'll have no choice but to comply. Okay, but now we're back here. 
Oh no! <laughs> it, it turns out cake does not always come out of the good sir's heads. I'm so I must have to find the illusory wall here, right? Wow. Come on, come on, man. Watch this. Yeah, I got him. I knew that would work, I just had to, you know, actually execute it. You can have ideas about how to do things as much as you want, but you gotta actually, uh, be successful at doing it. Every once in a little while. Oh, we don't mind if I do. <gasps> it's the illusory wall! We found it! I don't know what I just picked up there. You jerk. That didn't, you know, really get us much of anywhere, though. We still gotta go back this direction. It's okay. We'll find our way out someday. Oh, I see. We found we found an HP upgrade. That's that's slick right there. I'm for that. I've been I've been back this way. a few times. I've been around this track. Turns out, though, it, it is liable to happen just like that. So, Gwen Stefani, she was wrong. Thank you for the cake. Get away from the helmet, thank you. I'm trying to make mental note of where I have and haven't been. Not a lot of places I haven't been so far. I'll tell you that. Get that, uh, get that little treasure chest there. Well, we're back here. Oh no. <laughs> oh. That death was a blessing. As it turns out. Wouldn't have found this if it wasn't for, uh, dying. Probably. Oh no! It's, uh... Duck Girl. I don't know my... My duck lore. I've already told you. Oh my god, come on. Why don't you take a little, uh... I was gonna say, yeah, take a little trip down to the... Land where ducks belong. On the ground. Okay, we've killed her. Savagely demolished her. Transylvania, done. What do you want from me? We figured it out. It took us a little while, but we figured it out. The African mines. I love blood diamonds. All right, Dewey or uh, Louis. You'll need a key to get in. It's in Transylvania? Are, are you kidding me, ducko? <laughs> I just got out of here. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not like, how oh, dare you game? I'm more like, ooh. How, how unfortunate for me. I'm a joyful kind of outraged. It's a thing, look it up. Why don't I just pummel you again? Yeah, there we go. My boy's gone from here, makes sense. Splock. Splock, it's the new hot onomatopoeia, man. If you need to uh, convey a sound effect and you're just not sure what works, try Splock. It's guaranteed to do it for someone. This, this I knew. We got our health upgrade here, which is not... It's not un, uh, unappreciated. Don't get me wrong, but I need... I need key. I guess I just need to start running into every wall I can find. Oh, hold on. Does this other mirror bring me somewhere else? Because I went into the mirror on the right before. Oh, well, it brings me... 
back here. <laughs> This is uh, more time spent in the castle than I uh, would have liked. That's right, that's right. Mines. Where I probably don't need to be. I just kind of wind up dying here all the time. It'd be a real shame to get a game over at this point. Yes, that, that's just me setting it up to get a game over and make everybody sad. Okay, those didn't uh, burst any walls open. Ooh! I'm a genius. It's the skeleton key to the mine. Check me out. I don't have any lives. But I do have a key. Now my nephews can't be like, Hey! Get out of here, Scroogester! I'll be like, Nuh-uh, I, I have a key. Jerks. Watch this. <laughs> Got him. Oh, oh, oh! Didn't quite get him, though. He tried to dive bomb me or something, and it just didn't work. You know, I appreciate the ambition. Next time, try a plan that functions. They love to do it. They love to do it. Yeah, don't just fall all the way. Let's let's take a little detour here, see what we can find. Oh, Mama, who do I got here? It's uh it's 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 the chef. I thought that I could like jump there and then bounce off and go somewhere else. Is that, is that is that it? That's the entire thing? Oh no! Okay. You know what? I'm gonna start at the moon this time. We're gonna do it in reverse order. It's made of cheese. Yes. You know why I picked the moon. Because this is one of the greatest musical themes on the system. No cap. And it's just been ruined by the invincibility sound. Slightly bastardized by extra sound effects jumping over it. Come on. The main problem with the moon is I don't feel like I can talk during it. I, I'm like, it, it's sacred. I need to just stay, stay quiet, you know? It's so good. An absolute triumph of a composition here. Wagner, eat your heart out. What over here? Of course there's stuff over here. Stuff just for a greedy duck like moi. This is... man. It's the kind of song where you hear it, and you instantly get nostalgia, even if you're not actually nostalgic for it. Uh, if you need a contemporary example, it's like um, Dusty Gusty Galaxy from uh, Super Mario Galaxy. I've never played Super Mario Galaxy, but Gusty Gusty Galaxy makes me feel like I've been playing it my entire life. Find Gizmo Duck's remote control, then he can blast the wall. Ah, I see. I have come a wrong direction then. There we go. We can't we can't jump through those space quids while we are uh, while we ourselves have iframes. That's an interesting interaction there. I hesitate to call it a mechanic because part of me doubts that that's what they had intended. Turns out the moon's pretty hard. I 
it's just, it tickles something in your brain, you know? I wish I knew more about, like, music theory and stuff so I could just go on this big tangent about what exactly it is about this melody and this composition that invokes such a stark reaction in people. But, in truth, all I can do is say, me like. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you need to say is me like. Interesting. Don't let that gem despawn. It'll mean effectively nothing in the long run, but uh, don't let it happen. It's just such a jam, man. Cake? I, I don't mind some cake. That's a questionable section right there. I wanna go all the way up yet? No, no, no. I wanna explore the rest of what the moon has to offer. What do we got? There's a key inside the UFO. We can't go on without it. Man, these levels are getting complex. It is indeed... a tale of ducks. Like you've never seen it before. I'm not quite sure what the plot is, though. I'm sure the manual would detail that for you if you really needed to know. What we got here? It's a hidden treasure. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Did that just give me a lot of money? Because, you know, that's... It's, it's neat and all. But I'm looking for... A remote control and other things that could be deemed useful. By the good people of, uh, Duckburg. Uh, I was hoping it was an illusionary wall. Keep dreaming is what they told me. <laughs> Going up here. This is new to me. Yeah, what's to the left? Better be a remote control. Oh, I don't like this guy. Never mind, he's dumb. He's dumb in a way that works in my favor, so. I guess I'll invite him to the party. Yeah. My dude. You wanna look back to Duckburg, Mr. D? No. I don't. I I forgot for a second that that's all he does. He's the funky Kong of this game. Every game's got a funky Kong, you know? It's the key to the UFO. What can I say, Mr. Scrooge? You are a man of many, many talents. You know how to find what you need. You, uh... You game over all the time. You you fool. You idiot. You dumb duck. <laughs> it's for the Himalayas, right? Oh, we can't... We can't pogo all day long here. We'll get, uh... We'll get caught in the snow. Plug off a bunny's head, though. Obviously. Oh no, it's like it's like goat or something. That's not a duck. I thought everything was ducks. It's it's not goat tail. Oh, well, maybe that maybe that'd be a pretty good game. I mean, goat simulator game numbers. Why did Goat Simulator do numbers? Uh, people like when the game does the funny thing. Oh my god. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, no no. 
Did you see that jerk? Oh no! It's Jason in duck form. You knew it would happen. It's now it's only a matter of time until we get uh Chucky in duck form. Now hold on here. Yeah, you're not gonna fool me like that. You almost did. But your almost means nothing in these parts. Oh wait, hold on, I think I know what I have to do there. I bet you I can bounce up to the upper left hand corner there. So it's alright, see, we just uh we just respawn him in. Technically yes, we can, but that doesn't appear to be the point. Alright, well. No! <laughs> Well, I don't even know where I am anymore. Yeah, these are these are large levels, honestly. Like you look at it and you're like, five levels, that's nothing, but these are all these are all larger than any Mega Man levels, or at least at least Mega Man 1 and 2 haven't played with those. I wonder what our next Mega Man game is. Those are always a good time. Turns out going down the hole is your- Oh, ooh, it's not your only real option! What, what do we have here? There's a, a lot of good exploration in this game, my guys. Keep going different directions and... Find something new to do and see every time. Well, until you... Run out of possible directions to go, but... I'm not worried about that aspect here. I'm worried about having a good old time with my foul friends. So, okay, now I've learned. When you are invincible, you still have collision. That spider bounced right off my invisible head. I didn't die, so whatever. We've been here. This is just an alternate way of getting over here. Thank you for the cake. I appreciate it. I need every hit point I can get. Uh... <laughs> Okay, it's a tough game regardless of what you do here. Let's... Let's do the Amazon one more time here. Just so I can, again, create a create a basis of, uh... A basis. Create, like, a baseline of success here. Be like, okay, here's one end-of-level item. Now you can go on to the next level and perhaps start to snowball some success off of that, right? Now I have a, uh, I have a more mature understanding of the Amazon as well. I say as I get chased around by apes. Boing, 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 boing. Just collect, collect all the treasure. Because collecting treasure is fun. Show me a game where collecting treasure isn't fun. They exist. You know they exist. You don't gotta get cute and start naming off all the games with the worst uh, treasure hunting. There's a one up already! How's that for amazing? That right there? What'd you see right there? That's what we call advanced techniques here. That's a pogo cancel so you don't jump all the way up. Therefore, you don't hit your head on the spikes. They won't teach you that in Nintendo Power. That's called, uh, enemy jump boost buffer. This is called, um, vine transfer trick. They didn't figure that one out until the speedrunning community took off. And then just when you think you're done, 
You get some ice cream for the fam. I lied, it's all for me. I'm Scrooge McDuck. That's called the don't panic and lose your entire life trick. Actually one of the hardest tricks in the game. Oh my goodness, I thought I would have been Scrooged. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Man, they will just bite at you indefinitely, won't they? Give me all the money. Just all of it in the whole world. God. I'm up the boulder. I'm alive! I didn't forget anything. So far, no lives lost. Which equals very good Scrooge. Look at that, though. Now, this dude wants to extort money out of me, and I'm... I go, no, 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 like Amy Winehouse. Can I say, I, I've i never really understood the appeal of Amy Winehouse's music. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Like, I feel like the inferior one, because I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Can somebody explain? I can't believe I just died right there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's embarrassing. Now, admittedly, I'm not a big soul R&B fan. That's probably a big part of the reason. And like, yeah, she's got a unique voice, but I guess I've... Well, I shouldn't say that I've never thought she had a particularly great singing voice, because there are cuts on her albums that are quite impressive musically. I know, man. But it ain't rehab, I'll tell you that much. Maybe it's less that I don't get Amy Winehouse and more that I don't get the song Rehab specifically. <laughs> I don't think the hook is very good. I think it's kind of clumsy, actually. Like, dang, you should have you should have put that melody in Rehab. <laughs> I gotta be more patient and not just like get greedy. You can't double tap him. Oh, I thought they were going Mega Man. No such luck. This episode's flown by. Oh, baby. That's gotta be the intended way to get past that screen. There's no way that they expect you to have $300,000 at that point already. So this mirror is only active after you beat the level once. Makes sense. Huey's been kidnapped. I don't care. I just want money. Gotcha. Guess what? This level was designed to make you rip your hair out. It's not that hard, like, once you know where you're going and what you're doing. But man, solving the maze. That'll put hair on your chest, or take hair off your head. Okay. First off, we go here. Collect what is rightfully mine in the HP upgrade. Thank you, thank you. We're done to Scrooge. What is Scrooge's? And now I'm at the point where I can say, hey, guess what? I don't even need to ride the mine carts because I know exactly where I'm going. And it's here.
Oh, ghosts? Wow, I'd be scared if they were scary. What's that? You hit me once? Okay, admittedly, you did hit me. And now... We fight Duck Girl. It's her name. I've just decided. Don't don't try to get her when she's like an actual duck though, apparently, because that's that, that ain't gonna work for you. Wait for her to come down and dunk on her. Just like that. Get your get your knockoff Mega Man fanfare and get out of there. Collect your money, go to the African mines. Say Oh Leonardo. Fight over diamonds. And then you just uh go right up here. Once you know it's there, it's no big deal. But knowing is half the battle. Sky, and then just uh, go down here. I don't know if I went this way last time. Yes, I did. He's got the food. I think I died there previously. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Whatever will I do? Ah! Whatever will I do? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> uh. Okay, well, we did get duped by a boulder. But I'm not too proud to admit that. I had to trust him. I had to trust him. And it worked. Turns out you can trust crazy aqua uh, aqua ducks. They're kind of like aqua ducks. Ah! Come on. Too many, too many things in one go there. I tried to rush it. Oh, nice. I did get the checkpoint right here. You know, it makes sense that uh, Big Lou is the checkpoint guy. Oh no, it's my nephews. They're all dead. Well, three fewer mouths to feed. Can I anything in here? Worth a look. Something spawned there. I appreciate it. Don't, don't like chomp at me, man. I don't. I don't appreciate it. Got him. Oops. And uh, then I proceeded to despawn whatever treasure was there. What do you got for me? Use the seesaw, Uncle Scrooge. Whoa! <laughs> and then they put a slug right there. That's just cheeky. Alright. What do you got for me now, game? Send me down the Chocolatey River of quality game design. Not many games on the NES get to uh, unironically say they've got that, so congratulations, you're one of the chosen few. Ah! Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, he appears to be very easy. <laughs> oh! But then he goes the other way to trick you. Other than that, though, yes, very, very easy boss. We defeated the African mines. Chef's kiss and all that. I can see why this is a uh, so commonly speedrun game. 
I'm not saying that it's uh, an easy game to speedrun, but it seems like it would have a a reasonable barrier of entry. It's a great combination, you know, to drag people in. Some games, it's like, ooh, yeah, you're never gonna, you're never gonna be able to speed that one. But speed one, that run? Or did I say it properly? I don't know. I'm so in my own head lately, like, I've been botching almost every sentence I've said lately. We go left. what I tell you? Let him go down first? Okay, fine. Get, get your head in while you can, Mr. Spider. Give me, uh, cake? No, no cake? Give me nothing? Yeah, you know what? Nothing's fine. I can deal with nothing. We've died up here before. So just keep that in mind. Because that thing starts moving. You're gonna wanna stay on it. Good. I have wasn't sure if I was screwed there or not. Wait, is is that it? Is that the level? Is it really that short? Ow. I didn't dodge that properly. That's, that's fine. The hitboxes are a little, uh... A little brutal. You can't get a double shot on them. I'm willing to bet you probably take more damage on the harder difficulties, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so it turns out... The Himalayas go by lightning fast. If you just know where to go. Which, isn't that most everything in video games? Know where to go, you can get through quickly. Alright, back to my lady lovely, the moon. I can't die this time. I do have a couple more lives. Wow. Oh no, I did come in this <laughs> with all my starting lives at one point and managed to uh, lose everything in the divorce. Don't fall in any pits, you know. We do have the health upgrade this time around, so that's gonna probably help us. We go up here. And then, we go up just a little bit further. We get the remote. Well, no, it's not the remote, it's it's the UFO key first. You wanna come here? You got a problem? Dude, look at him just inch his way. This particular duck does not have the greatest AI in the game. He's gotten stuck before. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen him get stuck like that. <laughs> he just spanked him right out of there. Okay, key to the UFO. Now, I think I remember where to go. And it's not this way, but I want to go... Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, checkpoint man, thank you for the checkpoint. I appreciate it. I wish I knew your name, but, uh, you know, again, I, I don't know a thing about DuckTales. Other than Huey, Dewey, Louie, and I don't even know how to differentiate. I don't know which color is which. And, uh, Scrooge, he's a thing. You can tell, because I'm playing as him. Remarkable if they had you play as Scrooge instead of one of the kid ducks who would undeniably be more relatable to the kids. So they decided, no, gameplay first, and only Scrooge has good gameplay. We did the research, and that's what we've determined. There we go. That's the remote. You know what that means? Bless the bagpipes. Now Gizmo Duck can blast that wall. First, I'd like to find some cake or food or something. Hey, that's food. Yep. Yes, I can find the, sec the super secret treasure that no one was ever supposed to find in the whole game, but they put it in a kind of an easy to find place. They didn't expect anybody to try to jump off them, apparently. Now, my. The question is, does every level have a hidden treasure, and I have just only found one? So if that's the case, the other ones are pretty well hidden. 
as evidenced by the fact that I have not found it. Well, there goes the, the one bit of food I found for myself. Hey, hello, food? Nope, just gems. I mean, gems are nice, but they don't keep you fed. Something that I found out while working in the diamond mines in my youth. Tried to eat the rocks that we dug up. Doesn't work. You just get uh, diamond dust poisoning. You can fall here. This is fine. Oh, this is actually a terrible place for me to have, uh, come back from the dead, too. It's okay. I know how to get where I'm going. Probably. I game over right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> That's a very real possibility, too. Like, I don't think that I'm above that. Oh, hold on. Big brain idea time. It involves getting rid of you, and pushing you over here, and then going like this. Yeah. What do we got here? I don't know what that was that just spawned. Oh, just, just diamonds. Okay, well, there's nothing amazing down here, but uh, the point is, I found it, and that's the real amazing part. Sometimes it's less about what you put in the secret area, and it's more about letting the player find the secret area. So, okay, this time, I have to gently climb the rope. crush everything just because I'm paranoid oh, oh my god no <laughs> you son of a bitch oh I knew it I was like I saw the choke coming from a mile away that's so nasty, dude. <laughs> oh man. Well, as it is, I have two options. I can I can get mad or I can get glad. This has been your trash bag ad. Hope you appreciate it. I wasn't waiting for him. He, he, he just get out of my life. Yeah, that that duck's AI is messed. He's got some real some real issues he'll need to sort out. I feel like I know where all the principal players are now. Like, I know where to find everything that you need to beat the game. But stringing it together is always the hard part, you know? And now that I have six minutes left, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I mean, again, your speedrunners can do it. Actually, I don't even know if they can do it in six minutes. I think that that's still too little. They've optimized the game quite well, but... Uh, There's quite well, and there's... completely inhuman. I wanna go down there. I just wanna go up here. Yeah, give me the ice cream. Bless me bagpipes, indeed. And you know what? Now I'm just gonna make a duck line for it. Get it? Duck line instead of bee line? <laughs> it's neither clever nor funny. The best kind of joke. Get 
get me there, Gizmo. So can someone get me some um, health pickup, please? So I'm not sitting here feeling like I'm gonna swallow my own stomach in stress. Thank you, thank you. That is a start. How about the uh, how about the next one? You're all telling me that you can only spare a single cone of ice cream? It should be enough. The bosses aren't hard. Ah, but unfortunately, I did not realize that the rat is the hardest of all the bosses. It actually is, as it turns out. Okay, so... This is the worst checkpoint in the world. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, you know... I don't mind it, though. I don't mind a game pulling out a little bit of finesse on me and saying, Oh, you thought you were just gonna beat me all in one go? Get punished for your hubris, fool. Like, I, I accept that. You can't hesitate that one. If you hesitate, you die. Nothing doing. So, well, it's all right. Let's try to focus on this dude here and see what it is that makes him tick. Hey, that worked! Oh, have I found the cheese? Pun intended, because it's a rat mouse thing. Is he gonna come back this direction? Well, we've collected each individual artifact, we just couldn't quite string them all together. Which is a shame. A real shame. But! We have at least experienced all five of the main stages in their entirety here. Now, I'm willing to bet that there's probably like a sixth stage that things get real spicy on, because that's... That's the Capcom way, you know? That's just what they like to do. But as it stands, we won't we, we won't see it in this episode, which is fine. It gives me something to look forward to in the future when I inevitably pick this game up on uh, the old NES itself. Get myself a hard copy. Definitely feels like the kind of game everybody should own because, yes, it is all that. Whatever people say about DuckTales, it's, it's all the truth, unless they're saying it's it's a terrible, overrated uh, disaster piece. In which case, I, I tell you, leave my DuckTales alone. And then someday, when I come back to play it, I'll have forgotten everything about it, and I'll have to relearn everything again. Hey, I dodged them for a change. Imagine that. I dodged them again! Look at that. Pretty good! Only had a couple minutes left and I still knocked out another stage. Well, that's... That's all you get though. We only get an hour with these games and an hour has elapsed. Great stuff. Fantastic stuff. It has earned its reputation very, very nicely. And it was a much needed reprieve after a few uh, admitted misfires. <laughs> DuckTales, you've uh, you've given me a new lease on life. You've given me a reason to celebrate, and that's all gonna come crashing down on our next episode when we have to play Fester's Quest. <laughs> now, I I I I own Fester's Quest actually, and I have beaten Fester's Quest. 
It's not the worst game on the planet, despite what some people may try to claim. It, it can be okay. It's not amazing, <laughs> um, but uh, I'll probably prefer it to a good number of games we've played in this September 1989 lineup, which has, as I said, not exactly been doing numbers for us here. But DuckTales, that redeems the whole month as far as I'm concerned. Do you get one killer game out per month? You're doing something right. So congratulations, DuckTales. You've done a, a great service to us. And I shall not forget you. I will buy you in the future. Speaking of which, let me check what the current used prices are. I always forget to do this little segment because it's never on my mind. DuckTales for the NES. You get this for uh, 20 25 bucks. I, I usually round up for eBay prices. It's usually on the slightly higher end there. So say 25 maybe 30 tops. Uh, that's not too awful. There's a Game Boy version. Now the sequel, DuckTales 2, that's like $240 because that was at the tail end of Capcom's licensing with Disney. So those last few games they did didn't get printed in super high quantities. That's that's deadly. But DuckTales 2, we will see much later. We won't, we won't be playing that for quite some time. But DuckTales 1, yeah, it's great. Play it. And I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We will catch you next time.